guys and Hello. welcome back to another video. Today we are exploring Chennai and we are just on our way to our first stop which is breakfast. We found a really famous local breakfast. We're one minute away in the tuk-tuk, we're just pulling over to get changed but excited to try some food here and see what this place is about. We agree, we agree, we agree. What do you say? Very long, you want some more money. Oh. Okay, so we are at a place called the Rama Cafe, which has been open since 1948. So it's one of the oldest and most popular cafes in the whole of Chennai. We ordered a couple of coffees, a couple of breakfast bits, so like a dosa and idli. And yeah, excited as it is packed, jam-packed, full of locals, which is always a good sign. Uh, idli. Oh. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. But did you want some samba? Yeah, samba. So I found this place online by googling best breakfast in Chennai and then found like a local one. But I read in the reviews that the samba idli is like the famous one. So obviously what we've got here is an idli, which is a rice cake. And then they've just poured absolutely tons of samba all oh, over it. I love it. samba, mate. So it's going to be a lot for me for breakfast, that's for sure. Should we try it? Yeah, go on. So it's like cake consistency and idli. Mmm, it's nice. The samba's not too spicy. The idli is like very, very like cakey. And it's soaking up all the delicious flavors of the curry. It's quite a lot when you're British to get like curry for breakfast, but after two months in India, we're absolutely frozen at this point. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's massive. <laughs> that is huge. of my dosa. The biggest one we've ever the seen. The biggest dosa I've ever had. I don't know what to do with it. It's the size of a cricket bat. <laughs> right. Uh, this one's got like the masala and potato thing on the side. Oh yeah. Everything you want in a dosa. Like really crispy and crunchy. And the sambas, yeah. Just the right spice level for me. I wonder if they've tamed it down for us. And I think I'm just gonna get my potato and like smother it on in a second. But yeah, good, it's good. So that was a genuine 10 out of 10 top tier breakfast in my books. We've absolutely demolished it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, tip in. Ah. Why, why do we do that? Mixing. Ah, sugar mix. Ah, sugar mix. What one do we drink out of? Oh, yeah. I guess this one. No, this one. I think this looks like more like a cup. But what was the point of bringing this? Tray, then. To, to mix it. But then it would be in the tray originally and then you would have tipped it in the cup. Oh, I don't know. So just like Bangalore, Chennai also has a very strong filter coffee kind of vibe and everyone loves coffee here, as well as chai. So let's give it a taste. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, that is good. It's, good it's like coffee. sweet, strong and tasty. Yeah, it tastes really nice they're, actually. They're making it over there. So if you can see, they'll literally make it in the background. This is where you make coffee. Ah, it's cool. Coffee place. Is the coffee in there? Oh, milk. Ah, sugar. And then the coffee in there? Let us know in the comments if it should be this one or this one. I don't think it matters, but Gaz is having a I'm pretty sure about I've, it. I'm pretty sure I've drank water out of my curry bowl before here. <laughs> yeah, they give you little bowls to put your curry in. I've filled it up with water and drank it. Is Samba in your coffee, Abby? 364 rupees, that was. Cheers to that. Cheers. They're coming here more often. Wow. Well, that was, thank Hi. you. That was a great experience. We love starting our day off like that, it don't was. we? Yeah, yeah, can't complain. Absolutely spot on. So as we drove in this morning, all we saw was cars everywhere. It's a super busy Asian city. The plan is we're going to try and find a few pockets of peace within this very, very busy Indian city and see if there's some really good things to do whilst you're here as a tourist. So we're off to one right now. And wow, actually, this street, this street, this street is good. really cool. Look at this, it's actually beautiful. Wow. So you've got really, really brightly coloured buildings that all kind of lip out over the like, street you're walking down. Everyone's got their wash and hang up on it. Oh, it looks really cool, actually. Very aesthetically pleasing street, that's for sure. Honestly, there's no way I can... It's called the Aramuli Igu Shri Patha Sarafi Perumal Temple. 
So yeah. it's a very, very famous temple in Chen Chennai. And yeah, the first look of it, is, wow, it's absolutely stunning. We're, we're like still five minutes away and we can see it poking out through all the buildings. It's pretty uh, different from anything that we've seen before though, doesn't it, in our trip in India so far. So we've had a bit of a fail. We've just tried to go in. Abby's wrapped up with her shawl. There's obviously people praying and walking around with the traditional dresses or like skirts that they wear and no tops on walking around. So I've got a t-shirt and just normal length shorts on and, uh, and they, they wouldn't let me in. They're not my shorter shorts even, are they? I put long ones on for the occasion. And for anyone that does want to visit, obviously bring long shorts, but it does shut from 12 till 5. So bear that in mind, which is why we can't go and fix Gaz's naked leg problem, because by the time we go and buy anything to cover his knees and come back, it'll be shut. So bear that in mind if you're coming. But anyway, we're going to head to our next destination now, which is the sunny beach. You can see it now. Marina Beach, here we are. Wow. wow. It's pretty massive, doesn't it? Yeah, it already looks huge and we're nowhere near it. Looks like all the food stores are like starting to set up, doesn't it? It might be a bit early, but good job we've just had breakfast. So here we are walking along the boardwalk on Marina Beach, which is the longest in India and the second longest in the world. So it's a blooming huge beach. It's 13 kilometres or something near that. Yeah, that's actually crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Especially the fact that it's in the middle of a city. Oh. Actually, straight away, You've got an old school. They love making their own little um, fairground rides here Human in India. Human powered fairground rides. Yeah, so we saw one in uh, Jaipur and they had like a Ferris wheel. And then here, we've got like a chair one. I mean, it's not set up yet. I feel like people probably come here at night time, but there's like a chair one that like kids sit in and I'm sure someone just pushes as well. So no electricity needed, just a nice, kind, friendly person to push them around. We love that. Yeah, very choppy, isn't it? Right, I'm going to dip my feet in. Let's hope I don't get any uh, poisoning from it. <laughs> it's usually lots of pollution at beaches, at cities, isn't there? But, all right, let's see. Temperature check. Ah! Refreshing. Nice and warm. Just what we like. Definitely won't be submerging myself in that though. <laughs> so yeah, although there's not a lot going on right this second, we thought we'd have a walk along. We don't know which direction to go, we just picked one and we're walking. It's a nice but, sea breeze. Yeah, it's a lot hotter here than Bangalore. Well, it feels like that to me, much more humid being by the sea, but this breeze is very, very welcome at this point. It is around half 12, one o'clock, so we're right in the middle of the like day sun, aren't we? Which is probably why nothing is open, but we're British, so we go out in the daytimes, guys. So we want to see stuff open in the daytime. But yeah, let's hope we can find somewhere for a drink because we are very thirsty. So we walked all the way along the beach and now we've got the lighthouse in the background, which also shuts at one o'clock, guys. So Everything shuts in the afternoon. I know, that was our own fault for not realising that people obviously don't come out in the mid -sum. Someone's on jet skis. Someone is on jet skis out there. Maybe we've come to like the hip and trendy area. Maybe we need to walk along a bit it's more. It's hard to know where the main area is on this beach. It's because it's 13 kilometers long. 13 kilometers long. We just want a drink, honestly. That's all we want. Abby's found a cool little cafe that's been recommended by quite a few articles called The Brew Room. So we're going to go there and essentially just cool Recover. down. Recover. Yeah. When the sweat has dried from my top, we will venture out again. I think this one's a bit more touristy than the last one, so we can show you two sides of the cafe scene here. But we'll see oh, when we get is. inside. Look, crafted yeah. coffee. The Brew Room. Yeah, we love a good coffee, we do. got some pretty cool decor. We're in like this form of dome out in some like big green area garden it, place. It? Like, yeah. uh... We don't know what it's called but anyway it's it's very cool and very like swanky place and obviously it's called the brew room is obviously going to be very good at coffee. Now their coffee selection is actually the biggest I've seen in a long time especially in Asia. They've got like Italian coffees, they've got speciality coffees, they've got chilled coffees. There's like three pages worth of coffees here so it's a bit overwhelming to know what to order, so I just went for the basic bitch of iced latte with almond milk. These coffees look like an absolute vibe, and Abby's, you know it's good when it comes in some weird contraption like 
can I have a coffee? And it comes in a shoe, you're like, it's going to be a good coffee. Abby's <laughs> come in a milk bottle. I got a frappe. Can't go wrong with a frappe. And then this is the latte. Tastes good, tastes good. Mmm, thick and creamy. Uh, Pak Samosi Bunga. Mm. Yeah, Pak? Yeah, 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 yeah. How much? How much is this? Uh, how far is it? It's like a um, two minute drive, I think. Oh, oh four minutes. Uh, are you 100? Uh, no problem then. Okay, 100 rupees. Yeah, 100 rupees, yeah. Gordon, yeah? Yeah, this, yeah, you know? Some of you from I know. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay, so the second fail of the day is just not going to plan. We've come to this park to explore some of the beautiful nature within Chennai and it is shut currently. So we've just been dropped off to an Uber and told we can't go in. A bit of a nightmare today, hasn't it been? Yeah, I think we've just decided, because we've had a look at the top things to do, we've just decided we're gonna head back to the hostel now because there's not a lot we can do at this time of day. So we're a bit stumped out. Yeah, we? some days it just doesn't go to plan, does it? Well, I have to say, guys, this was a fail. And I was tempted to cut out all the shit attractions, but realised that's not real travel and we like to show you the good and the bad days. Chennai isn't a tourist city and I think we needed a locals insider tips, so if anyone has any recommendations, please drop them in the comments below for anyone visiting in the future. Anyway, sadly, this is our final day in India. Over two months we have travelled to eight different states, 15 different locations and made 24 videos. It's hard to summarise India as it's so large and different from state to state, but it has been the biggest adventure we have ever been on. It doesn't compare to any country we've ever travelled to and truly has its own unique culture that has been so fascinating to learn about. We just scratched the surface and will definitely be returning in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the series. Next up, we'll be in Sri Lanka. <laughs>